I don't want to do this. I really don't want to be doing none of this. Like, for real. Whoa, calm down now. I understand that whatever Subway did to you must have been terrible for you to resort to this. Is what I would say if I knew that they did absolutely nothing and he's doing this just for attention. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Lord Callum and yes, this man trashes entire workplace all in the name of... Getting a record deal? I don't know what kind of mental gymnastics you have to go through to think that throwing food on the floor is a one-way ticket to a record deal. But I guess I just don't have that hustler mindset, you know? Or, and hear me out for a sec, maybe it's just a fucking terrible idea. <laughs> At McMill. Tell, tell me you know the sign of the dream chaser. Real shit. At Meek Mill. Let him know, nigga. I'm trying to get signed to Dream Chasers. <laughs> Fuck all this subway shit. Fuck all of this subway shit, bro. At Meek Mill, man. Let him know. I'm trying to sign the Dream Chasers, bro. Get us. For those of you who may be unaware who this video is directed at, he's talking about the rapper Meek Mill, who has his own record label called Dream Chasers. That label is a joint venture with Rock Nation, which was founded by Jay-Z, so... Pretty big stuff. He's clearly hoping for big things here by throwing food on the floor in sub... Do you know what? I'm not gonna keep pointing out how stupid that sounds. You all know it is. I'm done working in Subway. That ass. At Meek Mill, let him know. Dream chases. I'm not with none of this clout chasing shit, bro. All of this clout chasing shit is temporary, bro. That ass. I don't wanna do this. I really don't wanna be doing none of this. Like, for real. At Meat Mill, let him know, bro. Jamani Way, Jamani Struggle, whatever you listen. Adam, let him know that I'm trying to get signed to Dream Chasers, bro. For real. Okay, firstly, uh, here's a wacky idea. Uh, if you don't want to be doing this stuff, maybe stop. I may not know this man, but I can pretty much guarantee that not a single person told him this would be a good idea. And secondly, how little thought did he put into this? Let's look at it this way. It's 20 years in the future. You're a successful rapper and you just happen to be driving through the town you grew up in. When all of a sudden, a couple of young, ambitious teenagers stop you in the street. Wow, you're such an inspiration. You're my favorite rapper. What advice would you have for people like us? Well, all you gotta do is stay focused, keep working on your music, and just stay motivated. But how did you get your big break? I wanna be a rapper so bad, I just don't know how to get my foot in the door. So then he crouches down to the kid's level to give him some life-changing advice. Well, little man, it all started when I got a job at Subway, and I realized then and there that the nine to five life wasn't for me. Hold on, isn't it funny how they always say that? The nine to five life wasn't for me. Like, yeah, no shit, dumbass. The nine to five life isn't for most people, but we gotta make a living somehow. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. The nine to five life just wasn't for me. So I walked into work that morning and this part is really important, so you better listen. I made sure I left all my self-respect at the door. I then embraced my inner five-year-old and threw the biggest temper tantrum I could. I threw all the food on the floor and just kept shouting, Meek Mill, please sign me, please sign me. I don't want to throw food on the floor, but I'm going to keep doing it until I get my own way. Do you see how ridiculous that sounds? <laughs> All over this shit, nigga. I'm done with all of this car chasing shit, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this, bro. Like, dead ass. I'm not trying to do none of this. I would, listen, everything will hit the floor. Everything, I'll throw everything on the floor, man. Dead ass. I don't, I don't even care, bro. If this is what I got to do, if this is what I got to do to get on, that, this is what I'm going to do to get on, bro. Do what, though? Like, I know I've already said this, but what part of throwing food on the floor is supposed to land you a record deal? I, I can't follow the thought process. I will say this though, I don't doubt that he's probably been trying to get his music out there for a long time. Clearly he's desperate. I understand that, I get that, I don't blame him for that. And I'm not sure how much of his music I can actually play for you because YouTube and 
they hate music apparently. I don't know. So I'll play you just like a short snippet, hope for the best, and what I'll show you will basically sum up the whole song. Don't no one care when you're struggling. Don't no one care when you're struggling. I love how he even recorded the music video in Subway. I don't know why he's trying to make it look like working at Subway is the lowest of the low. <laughs> and I know some people are job snobs, but it's just funny to me. I don't get it. You're working at Subway as an adult. You're not a nine-year-old down the mines. Do you know what I mean? Can't be that bad. The irony of the lyrics is what really amuses me. Like he keeps rapping about how he's struggling. Meanwhile, he's doing everything in his power to lose what I can only assume is his main source of income while simultaneously embarrassing himself in front of the whole world. But maybe, maybe that's just the big ball of moves that I do not understand. Who knows? At Meek Mill, this is directly to Meek. Directly to Meek Mill. Let him know. I'm trying to get on. You feel me? I ain't trying. I ain't trying to be doing none of this cloud chasing shit. But this is what I gotta do. This is what. This is what you gotta do. It's either this or be in the streets on some dumb shit. You feel me? Hmm. Huh. If he wasn't doing this, he would be doing dumb shit in the streets. How the fuck is this not the dumb shit? The this is the dumb shit. You're, you're doing, doing it, it right, right now. now. The difference is you're doing it in a job that pays you to be there. <laughs> Someone please make this make sense to me. For real. At Meek Mill, let him know, bro. For real. I'm dead. Listen, listen. I'm dead ass done with all of this car chasing. For the people that know me, that know me for, the, for my videos, I never wanted to do any of this, bro. This ain't what I want to do. I don't want to be working here. I don't want to be doing none of this. I'm just trying to get on, bro. I'm really ch and I don't, I don't know what else to do, so you feel me? I could list, pfft, I don't know, 20 different things that you could be doing instead of this. I mean, you could have used the money from Subway to pay to promote your music, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume you burnt that bridge because Subway probably aren't too happy with you right now. In all honesty, I could probably name anything in the world right now and it would definitely be a better idea than this. I'm just genuinely gobsmacked by this. I think I can say with almost complete certainty that I have never seen anyone miss the mark as aggressively as this guy. And all I keep thinking while I'm watching it is, okay, now what? You did your little temper tantrum of, please Daddy Meek Mill, please notice me. Now what? I assume you still don't have a record deal. And I'm almost certain you don't have a job anymore. But that's all I know so far, and that's pretty much the end of the video, so we're gonna have to leave it there. It's a bit of a cliffhanger, I'll be honest. I wanna know more. But before we end, I think we've all learned quite a valuable lesson today, which is... Don't no one care when you're struggling. <sighs> don't no one care when you're struggling indeed. I mean, especially when you're making your struggle worse by trashing your workplace, but... Who am I to judge? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I've been Lil Callum, and have a good day. Peace.